Yes, Hamilton is looking fantastic for the final round of action of the New, New Zealand Rugby League National Premiership for 2020. This is the 2020 Sky Sport Women's National Premiership between the Mid-Central Vipers and the County's Monaco Stingrays. Yes, good afternoon from a glorious looking Hamilton. The pitch is in fantastic order, Richie Barnett. The overhead conditions couldn't be better. There's no wind, it's just perfect conditions. Perfect for, perfect conditions for attractive football. I mean, that's what we want to see in the game. And I think this championship or premiership has delivered a lot of expansive football. And um, I look forward to this matchup. And, and I guess with Mid Central, they're just coming out with um, a real belief in the side at the moment. And I think if they can carry this through through a, uh, against a side, the Stingrays, that have just been building nicely and, and they're just full of talent and experience. Yes, indeed. And uh, let's have a look at the schedule for this weekend. The two games played yesterday, big wins for both Akarana's women's and men's teams. So following this game, which is about to kick off between Mid-Central and Counties Monaco, we'll have the men's match at 4 o'clock this afternoon between Waikato and Counties Monaco. Yep, there is the scene. Couldn't be better. And it's going to be a great day of running rugby league. Let's check out the team lineups now. And we're going to start with the County's Monaco Stingrays, having already qualified for the final in a fortnight's time. That's given them the chance to rotate winger Malia Nive Tolanga, centres Anissa Biddle and Rishe Lamanu, hooker Capri Paiko, and prop Ashley Smalley into the starting lineup. Regular captain and hooker Crystal Water. Note that one is starting from the bench. Wearing 16, and the coach is Greg Selwyn. Well, uh, Greg, uh, tell us how the team is prepared for today. I mean, you've done a bit of, bit of reshuffling in your lineup today. Uh, we've been lucky over the last couple of weeks to tick a few boxes, so um, it's given us the opportunity to uh, play some of the girls that haven't actually had a start, and uh, looking forward to watching them play today. They're, they're our, young, our young girls, so um, looking forward to see how they've developed over the last couple of weeks. Mid Central, your opponents, what have you made of them so far? Um, haven't really seen a lot of them. Um, we've come here with a siege mentality. At the end of the day, we've still got to go out there and play them, uh, regardless of, of how they've been travelling. Uh, we're, we're worried about what we can bring to the table, and uh, we're looking forward to today's game. Good on you, Greg. Great conditions. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, Greg Selwyn there. Now let's have a look at Mid Central's team. She's a new player at centre, wearing three Mackenzie Mackay. Rakai McCafferty switches from 5'8 to fullback, and plenty of influence coming once again from Finau, number 20, Wendell, the halfback. Olsen, who's the captain, wearing 14, and Locke, Trayana Faulkner. The coach for this game today is Ebony Lowe. Well, Ebony, you better tell us about the circumstances, uh, what's happened to see you coaching this team today. Uh, so, obviously, myself and Jacko committed to the, the season. Um, when it was a bit up in the air, whether it was happening or not, Jacko did commit himself to something else that he couldn't change prior to. Then the competition was confirmed, so it's an assistant coach stepping up to fill that head coach role today. Uh, I've done a lot of work with the Vipers for many seasons now, so pretty comfortable to fill in that spot. Your opponents, Counties Monaco, they're pretty hot. They're going for their 11th straight title this season. What are you expecting from them today? Oh, we expect a lot um, because, yes, you know, as you say, they are coming into their 11th straight, well, hopefully for them, um, championship. Uh, I've come across Counties as a player and as a coach um, and know they are a very experienced side. Um, and we just, you know, let's do our one percenters right and it'll be a good game. That's all I can ask. Good luck, Ebony. Thank you very much. Yes, Ebony Lowe there filling in for Alan Jackson, the former Kiwi Ferns coach today. Here come the two teams on to Waikato Stadium. Final round of the 2020 Sky Sport National Women's Premiership from Waikato Stadium. Mid-Central against Counties Manukau. Counties Monaco coming into this game with two big wins behind them, 66 to nil over Canterbury and 40 to 10 over Akarana. Mid Central a win and a loss. Mid Central 48 to eight they lost to Akarana, but they bounced back nicely to beat Canterbury, 26 points to 18 in round two. It'll be a big ask. Lots of Kiwi Ferns in this. Counties Monaco lineup and Māori All Stars players as well. Craig McKellew is the coach today. The coach, the referee for this clash, in fact. All right, ladies, stay behind. And we're all set. It's going to be Matura kickoff for Counties Monaco. It's going to be mid central with the first possession. And Hemingway straight away. 
gets driven backward in some pretty decent defence to start this game from Counties Monaco. Yes, they have qualified for the final. In fact, it's going to be an Akarana Counties Monaco final in the women's competition once again. And straight away, mid central put themselves under pressure. Richie Barnett, they've been hustled big time in those first two tackles. Yeah, good contact there from the Stingrays. Line speed was great. Just a little bit of a, a late sort of cut there, inside ball. And the ball should have give, been given earlier to Faulkner. But un, un, unfortunately, she double pumped. Yeah, rare re to go. be seeing error out of Faulkner, who's been one of the stars of this mid-central team so far, both oh. on and off the ball, as Matua feeds the scrum, and Totari gives it back to Matua. To it. Moving in from the centres, she played there in the first game. There's been the standoff in this and the last game. Paiko, originally from the Waikato, she'll enjoy playing on this ground today. A little messy here for Counties Monaco, and I think Mid Central have it. Tiara Ho Hunt it was chasing through there with good resolve. She's wearing 12 in this game, but actually playing prop. Tiara Ho Hunt, and she featured strongly in last week's win over Canterbury. So Mid-Central are going to get the feed to the scrum. It's a bit messy to start this game. A bit scrappy early on. We'll knock on first and, and then an offload for second phase. Which is, as we know in this game, can really turn a game around. But that was just execution, poor. And again, playing a, a different style of football there. Well, if Mid-Central can keep their error rate to a minimum, that would be... A real achievement for them. As Counties Monaco will be in their faces. They've only conceded 10 points in the two games they've played so far, the Stingrays, as they chase their 11th straight national title. Still in that play, the ball. I talk about no, no errors. Yeah. Yep. No question that Mahalia Polson, the captain of the Mid Central Vipers, lost the ball there. They want the ball off the field for some reason or other. Glenn, this is just an ordinary start, really, from both teams. Just security with the ball. Polson, just trying to play the ball too quick. Yeah, former Manawatu rugby union player is Polson. Okay, heads in, guys. Okay, when you're ready. Wait for the alcohol. Well, incomplete set. We haven't had a completion. Alcohol. That's right. Out. Three minutes into this game. That's correct. Matua. Straight away. This is one of the new players in the Counties Monaco starting lineup today. Biddle. We did see Biddle Release. play off the interchange in round one against Canterbury. Now Smalley. Kiwi Ferns Clark. To their movement. At the World Cup in 2017. Pike go at dummy half today. Crystal Water, remember, off the bench today, regular captain. And now Counties Monaco spin it. That's a good pass. Out it comes to Lichet, the other new centre. That's Good three. tackle on her. Five metres out. Good tackle right. coming in that time by right. Naomi Hunt. Now Amber Carney at dummy half. Oh, and a little forward pass. <laughs> so again, we're yet to see a completed set. That's incredible, isn't it? From such an experienced side. Totati. And they played the, the blind side here, which is a good option. But unfortunately, she was ahead. Instead of just back there, there could have been an, a long pass out to the winger. Could have created... A nice try there on the left edge. Come but on, positionally, Vikings. poor. Okay. Heads in, stay down. John Salto Tati, Marty All Stars game seven. player this year. Out! Got to play in that game right at the start of the season. One! Up here now. for the Vipers. Her first touch of this rep season. Oh, that was too the slow. The referee has penalised yeah. Counties Monaco this no, time. No quick taps. Are you tapping or checking? Tapping, checking. So Windle will poke it to the sidelines, and Windle was very good last week against Canterbury. Oh, she hasn't found touch, but that's been knocked on by Liche. Cheapers, mid central. Bit fortunate there. They're scrum green. Well, I've never seen a game with so many errors in the first half. First half. 
Like there's no strength in that kick, kicking from this on an angle. And Lamanu just couldn't take that ball clean. Yeah, heads in, heads in, guys. Locks in, stay down. 35 minute halves in women's rugby league, remember. Out! So let's see if either one of these two teams can get a good roll on here. Mackay with the pass. And that's been lost by McCafferty. You could see. You could see the, what they were trying to do, but their execution was just slightly off. But I like the endeavour from the scrum. Absolutely, and I think that's the right op option. Take them on from scrum. You've got opportunities here. Absolutely had her there. And six and sevens there. Over, a ball over the top would have, no doubt, <laughs> produced a try on that left yeah, edge. I think you just right, keep going in, back to that. In. Stay down then. when you're ready. Yeah, Rakai McCafferty it was from the Hawks Bay. Unfortunately, she'd done all the work there. Sucker in two players. It's a good charge One, off the back release. of the scrum. Come, guys, at the line. It's from Hara to Butler. Now they come forward again. Two. On the it's line, Weber. guys. Right in front of the posts. It's Pico. Goes from dummy half. This is looking better for County's Monaco. Smalley. Three good there. Good tackle coming in from mid-centrals. Akaola. Now Pico again. She's quick from dummy half. Big gap. For Hutter to Butler. And Butler has gone over to score the first try for Counties Monaco. Four points to nil. Well, that's the Stingrays template, isn't it? Hitting the, the props in the middle and just drawing in the defenders in that mid third. We had Butler, we had Smalley coming through, and that was the right play. Lovely angle, too, from Butler, who's come from left to right, inside shoulder run, straight over near the posts. Yes, Hara to Butler, one of the Māori All-Stars players from 2019 and 20. 37 minutes she played in that game earlier on in the year from the Papakura Sisters Club. And it's four points to nil. And Butler is one of these players to keep your eye on, Richie, as all of these players are chasing spots in the Kiwi Ferns to play Samoa coming up in three weeks. And, of course, there's other countries that players are vying for selection to Nui, Tonga and Samoa. So all the selectors from all four of those sides will be keenly watching this clash today and all the games being played in the championship up at Bruce Pullman Park again today because all of those players will be eligible for selection in those teams too. Now this is Matua. And there is six points to nil Matua. Nice comfortable conversion for her. And eight minutes played in this first half. Eight minutes... Stingrays managed to find points. The first completed set. Of seventh minute in the game. Six errors today. Yes, gnarly. A gnarly start from both teams. When you hear stats like that, you'd think it'd be maybe blowing a gale with pouring rain. Stay behind. Here we go. Ah! Nothing but the sort here in Hamilton today. And there's a great kickoff. Carney under pressure as she... Runs back into a ring goal. She did really well. And Bacani there, the Kiwi Ferns player. That's one up now. That was a bit of a mess up from the kickoff. Wait, guys, you wait, chalked that wait. down as another error. Well, it was exactly right. Well. But the kick was it had a lot of distance on it too. Two, release. Get Taking square. Them back with that, that. The length of the kick is fantastic. Another That's penalty. Too slow. You've got to be quicker than that. And that was Butler who was creating havoc for the mid-central defence. Butler is warming into her form nicely. Here's this kickoff again. Well, you take it, no, you... Uh, oh, it was one of those sort of things, wasn't it? And in the end, Carney was forced to clean up, and she did a pretty good job, Amber Carney. Here we go, guys. Two great fullbacks vying for Kiwi Fern selection. Right, Amber Carney well. and Arpy Nichols. Well, wasn't she fantastic yesterday? She's just a natural runner of the ball. She has so much time with One, the ball. Up now, get square. Well, and I heard through the traps yesterday too, Richie, that... R.P. Nichols was up till 5 o'clock in the morning working for the Two, police. <laughs> and to put in a performance like that, our precious little sleep was a pretty good effort from R.P. Nichols, wasn't it? Three, stand nine. Now Pico sneaks away from dummy half, the young hooker, relishing the chance to get a start with Crystal Water on the bench today. Totari into dummy half. Carney. Missed out this time. Here's Butler again. Tackled down low that time by Hunt. 
put her off here stride and she's are you right okay wait wait, wait, wait. whacking the hip the there that was the fine five and last she looked offended to be even asked didn't she <laughs> it's matua get up, get up. goes to ground lamanu looking for the offload hand over in fact biddle it was and wait, wait she needed to find that offload because players weren't in, in the offshore position to put a kick in there she's some good defense coming in there that's what Kelly's going to hurt on Finau. Oh, absolutely. That's what they're, they're very effective in. And again, another well, mistake from the Vipers. Let play it. Oh, Terry Edwards. Come back, come back. Gifting possession back to Counties Monaco. One, Smalley stand. looking for a good head of steam. She goes close. Pico. Here's Butler going for try number two. Simple crash play on the angle. Harder to Butler. Two tries in five minutes. Ten points to nil. Well, hard to stop Butler com uh, coming across an angled run. I thought McCafferty uh, tackle just early on was sensational from the Vipers' fullback. But look at this. Nice variation in play. Isolated the players on the left, held them up for that fraction of cent. You can see the inside defenders not moving up. And when you've got a big body like that, you need to get up in their face. Yes, two tries now on the day for Hara to Butler. She is ticking along nicely as a touched on. She is moving nicely into her work. She sets up another pretty decent conversion attempt here for Matua. That's Butler's third try this season. Four counties, Monaco. Got one against Canterbury in round one. And Matua will be thankful that she... Had two easy attempts to get this game cracking. 12 points to nil. Remember, Matua in the first round against Canterbury. They scored 16 tries in that game, Canterbury, but Matua could only manage one conversion. It was a tough day at the office for Matua with a lot of those kicks out wide and really windy conditions that day. What a contrast, really, when you look at Akarana. Stay behind. The kicking game is on song nice call that time no confusion as Butler the try scorer takes the kickoff and straight away bursts through a couple move. of tackles get square marker I go into dummy half wait, once wait. more plenty of touches for the rest of these two powerful ball runners that counties Monaco have it was with a call who that time three release get square Wharton and Weber are the other back rowers today. Smalley. Here is four up nine. There you go. Geneva Weber. Well, that was Witter Kohu. Now Totari. It's five and last. Last tackle now for right Counties on. Monaco. They're starting to heat up quite nicely. There goes the kick from Geneva Weber. And all the bounces. And a favour mid central, not even Tolunga could chase that one down for Counties Monaco. So mid central get a scrum, 20 out. Well, lucky bounce there for Tui Edwards. It could have bounced anywhere, but she opted just to let that ball go through. And it worked for her that time. See here, the, the kick just sort of fading out to the right. You can just see short, and she opted not to take it. And lucky for the bounce, it runs out of the sideline. Lock in. When you're ready. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the Vipers come up with. Obviously, completing the set would be one option. But I like the fact that they play one, football too. Oh, there's the best tackle of the game so far. Mark is off! Mark is off! Lamanu it was with a beauty. Nice play from mid-central. Two! Move! Right. Kohler playing the ball. Paul. Charge coming in here. Three! Stand! From Lua Nimorota. He's playing centre, wearing 19 in this game. Windle. Finau at standoff. They've got a bit of an overlap as Hemingway. Can she run the winger? In fact, it's Mackay. New player. Kenzie Mackay. Mark a square. Wait. Better set this time from mid-central. Finau. Now Faulkner. She's Five and last. Proved Move together. a good ball runner for mid-central in their first two games. Paul at dummy half. Good pass. 
Here's the kick from Wendell. Tries to find space between Amber Carney Front in. and the winger, Pahu Carney, who I don't think had a touch yet. She scored Wide. bucket loads of tries Wide. in these two games. Here is Pahu Carney. Two! Up now! Well, that was a well constructed set there from the Vipers. <laughs> Promoting the ball. Here's the other That's winger, Tolung, in ladies. a bit of trouble. Otara, player. Wide. To see her getting a start. Oh. There there, today, and that's good on. solid contact coming in from Tia Aroha Hunt. Come. Paiko. Totari with the Hold kick. On. That's behind the fullback, McCafferty. McCafferty forced to run back. Well, that's good support play, too. Coming in from mid central, Akuala. We'll begin the Release. set. Here we are. Mid central are in there, Go. deep in their own territory. Hunt. Comes away with it. Two! Stand together! Hunt sisters both playing again for mid-central today. Originate from Three, the Hawks Bay. Here's Finau. Play the ball! <laughs> Once she's tackled, you don't have your hands on her, okay? Let her play the ball. Back here. <laughs> Originally from Te Awamutu, just down the road here from Hamilton. Giving away the penalty there. Rush of blood to the head there, Richie. Well, she chased well, extremely well, actually, from dummy half. And she was eager, showed a lot of enthusiasm really to get across. And yeah, a little bit of a twisty cuffs there. <laughs> well, when you've got someone like Crystal Rota on the uh, bench, you know, that's uh, giving her an opportunity to shine. Well, exactly. move now. And not only her, two Crystal Stowers right. on the bench today for Counties right. Monaco. She's been very solid in her first two games this two. season. Up now. Mackay, here's Paul, now Wendell, good ball running half, Paul, no, oh, that's high, the referee, that was Totari, I think, just going, high. slipping up that tackle. A bit of football in the side, you know, a nice little inside, and look at that delivery of ball, look at that, the right hand fin, just slightly high, Totari, find some space on the 20 metre mark. So back to First back time in a long while like, they've been here. Well, exactly. Back to back penalties has given them the opportunity wait here. Wait, wait. Go. But Mid Central were fairly impressive last week against Canterbury. They were behind oh, in that game and showed good heart to come right back in and win wait. the game as Niwarota sets this up on the 10. Here's a good charge to the line from Akuala. Two, up together. Wait, on the line. Go. Paul will go from dummy half. Hey! Young player with lots of potential. Paris Paul. Akuala is going to go from dummy half. They're going to try and drive her over. Hey! County's four. Monaco defence is pretty solid. Carl oh. Paul, did she get on the line? Oh, she's lost it. Three attempts from dummy half. Eager to get the try over the... A cheap try. She must have been pretty close, I have to say. Paris Paul. Well, she has already scored tries from dummy half. Paul got one. She, in fact, got two tries last week, diving over from dummy half against Canterbury. Yeah, she looked short, didn't she? Weber was right there. Hey, one more, one more. With a Okay, here's it, guys. Stay down, wait for the out call when you're ready. She can row his feet. It's out, play on! Yep. One, up now! Oh, Butler has it again. Nice to boot. Two! Players, though, like a square. Required to bring Butler down to deck. Good, solid contact coming in That's from three. Pahu Kani. She felt that one. Matua. Matua playing strongly. And the offload. That's good play from her. They've got a bit of an overlap on the right if they can get the ball. Out to Tolunga, but they couldn't. Surrender tackle. Tackle one. So Harata to Butler after two tries. To give Counties that 12 0 lead is. Having a spell on the bench, I tell you, you might need a spell after that. 
was the winger Tuia Edwards. She bounced up pretty well though, Windle. Three, stand. 15 yeah, minutes ladies. to go until half time. Paul. Here's Windle again. In a bit of space. And they've hit this right. Two on the tackle was a strip. Edge going okay, haven't they, mid central? Hey, yeah. The fact that Come Windle coming onto the ball with pace. And then in and away, she squares up nicely. You see here, she squares up nicely and in and away, draws the defenders in. And then you've got indecision on that left edge at times when you've got a runner coming on the ball quite quite hard like she just did then. I like her style. Well, that's four penalties in a row now for mid-central. Enjoying a nice percentage of possession at the moment. Ricky Rawley is out there, unfortunately. It was a bit of a blunder, wasn't it, from Mahalia Polson, the captain. She'd be disappointed to let her teammates down in such manner. Just finding the rhythm too, Glenn. Help! Confidence started to build. And we all know that the comp completions in this game are so vitally important. There's a good fan coming two, in. Stand. Get square. Now these Manu are looking to go to their bench. There's Matura's in space. Manu. Go, go, go. And now this is Tolanga in space. Oh, good pass. This is going to result in the third try. Anissa Biddle is going over. Played off the interchange against Canterbury, did Biddle. And is back in the lineup today. It's a pretty decent county's Monaco try, 16 to nil. Yeah, they were testing that right edge with the over over the head pass on a couple of occasions and it didn't work the first two times but you can just see the the center coming in edwards and then you've got genuine pace by biddle to go all the way 60 to 70 meters score the third try of the first half but it's a lovely delivery of pass and don't worry about biddle she's a try scoring machine six games for the otahu leopards this year richie eight tries or Anessa Biddle. And, uh, well, even that great try scoring rate. She's struggling to get her into this county's, or break into this county's Monaco lineup, which is, of course, chock full of international players. Matua with the conversion. Three pretty easy conversions for her to nail so far in this game. Three out of three oh, from her. 18 well, to pieces. nil. 12 to play there. until half time. No good, mate. Go back to signals. We have to. The county's Manukau, of course, will be featuring in the final against Akarana of the Sky Sport National Women's Premiership. In two weeks' time, October 31st, is when those games will be played, both on uh, Sky Sport Live, of course, from Waitakere. Stay behind. Looking forward to those games, Richie. Yep, the best of talent coming together. In, in an uncertain time, COVID-19. I'm looking forward to that. And that's a good opportunity, an error from the Stingrays. Well, that was Wharton, the captain. She'll be disappointed that, the Kiwi Ferns player. Played against Samoa last year. Good Wharton and captaining the team today. Ricky Rawley going backwards. Former Wellington Orcas player, Paris Paul. Here's Finau. It's a little disorganised on that tackle. Surrender tackle three. Saloy Ruby Finau forced to take the tackle. Ball again as they nudge to the left through Hemingway. Four. Move now. Yeah, ladies. Playing in the second row today, Hemingway, after being a prop last week. Here's Wendell again. Caught by Warton. Up now. From Warriors NRLW player as well. Came out of retirement to play for them last season. Well, they were passed forward. Oh, Faulkner just couldn't handle it. It's unfortunate. You could see the, again, the right. The yeah, idea was here. good there, Richie. But it's just they just yeah. couldn't quite execute again. Great service, too, from Paris Paul, who delivery from dummy half has been exceptional. And again, this, this pass here was the right pass. Just 
and the angle she was running but in between two players unfortunately she coughed it up yeah Triana Faulkner uh, looks like Finau is playing doctor there yeah hand over guys his last tackle but mid central they have actually shown promise in each of the three games they've played There are some players with some pretty natural instincts for rugby league, Richie, given most of them are rugby union, come from a rugby union background, but there's some good instincts for the for the uh, rugby league game in this team. Absolutely. When you're looking at what we've seen already, that delivery of ball, particularly on the edges, um, you can see that the rugby coming out. And I'm really impressed with their market defence too. It's been exceptional. And that's an area where it takes a while to learn and, and understand. Oh, very impressed. <laughs> yeah, and that's the other thing too, isn't it? A lot of people no, will naturally look at players guys. when they have the ball and, oh, he could be a good league player, she could be a good rugby union player and you kind of start thinking yeah. like that. But it's hey, off guys. the ball hey, where guys. the big differences have evolved over right. time, particularly tackling technique, market defence. The big difference between the two sports. 100%, and particularly the one-on-one -on -one defence too, you know, tying up the ball and how important that is for ruck speed and... The Come wrestle on, no, was no. probably the most important one, and it's it's, right, it's a go. massive part of this game. And Carney's just Two, elusive, isn't she? Yeah, she's got Hands great off. running technique. Is Amber Carney not the biggest Hang player? Up. Here comes Pahu Carney. That's three up now. Leading the try scoring stakes in the women's premiership this season is Pahu Carney, the left winger for Counties Monaco. This is Lamanu. Rawley's got her tied up. But she's tough to put down, isn't she, Lamanu? What a run from her. Four, stand. We lost support. count of the tackle busts. Exactly. Paiko nips away to the left. Totari. There's Kani chasing through Pahu Kani. Oh, I think she might have lost it. And it's back in the hands of mid-central through Naomi Hunt. Exceptional right, kick. Go. Exceptional kick there from Totari. Left foot. She plants it on the ground just That's delicately, one, one, no. and it bounces up nicely too. Right. To Langa. just couldn't quite get it, but gee, that was a uh, pretty impressive set there. Two, well, County's one. one aggressive defence here. Greg right. Selwyn, the coach, will be wanting his team up in the faces of Mid Central. Whoops, Mid Central just a little half asleep at the moment, and this Three. is not the Five area of the field to lose concentration. Hunt playing the ball. Finau, are they going to spread it to Hemingway? Oh, that's four. Matua. Here we are, guys. She enjoyed that one, didn't well. she, Matua? Paris Paul. There's the kick, got some pretty decent distance on it as well. Pahukani goes back. Good chase coming in from Whoa, Polson, the captain. Here we are, ladies. There you go. Now, Stowers is out there now off the bench. Two, for Counties now. Monaco, Crystal Stowers. Pico, Carney. This is Amber Carney. Now, Six really again. messy play, and they've restarted the tackle count. Yeah, hand on the ball, Tiara Hunt. Here they come again. This is a good charge here from Wharton. Now Stowers again. One, move! A 14. Counties Monaco in good yeah. position again here. To claim more points. They're going for the barge over again through Aishali Smalley. And Smalley, two, almost Release. there. No diving, guys. Pico, good service from dummy half. Three. No try Release. again. Mary Jane Finau couldn't drive over this time. The interchange player, Matua. And Bacani. And Bacani, nice pass. And it's Tolunga. Who's gone in to score the try, the young Otara player. Well, it threatened, she threatened to be in the wrong position there. She looked slightly ahead, but just held her line, gave Carney the opportunity to move him ahead and throw a legal pass. Malia Nive Tolanga over for Counties Monaco's fourth try. Pretty impressive. I thought the defence on the line was extraordinary from the Vipers. And again, there was nothing really on. They weighed up two on two, but the speed of Carney just putting the decision-making 
off the left center there to Edwards and two mines and just genuine pace there from the fullback adding so much value there on that right edge well counties Monaco came into this game having scored 106 points in their two games and here they are with 22 more and Tolanga welcoming the relishing the chance rather than to start today didn't play against Canterbury in round one was on the interchange last week and now into the starting lineup for this clash here the only Otara player in this lineup Matua now with her toughest kick of the game so far it's going to be interesting to see if the Kiwi Ferns she makes the Kiwi Ferns team in 2020 she's been close she's been a part of the wider squad a couple of years ago Matua and there is the miss so 22 to nil yeah, it almost seems inevitable we're going to get a try to Pahukani at some point in this game 66 to nil they won their first game 40 to 10 last week. Actually, uh, just uh, going back through my notes, only the one try last week from Pahu Stay Kani. behind! <laughs> Stay behind! Get up, come on! Four the week before, though, Richie, <laughs> against Canterbury. Well, I think there's so many opportunities one, no, no. for Kani, too, with some of these damaging runners through the middle. Oh, We've seen on a number of occasions players. You know, uh, the tackle busts through the middle and no one's on the end of it, so maybe that's a good option for Amber to start looking and hovering around these players. Finau plays the ball there. Totari on the short side, taken by her opposite number. The tackle from Windle, a much smaller player. Paiko, fast play the ball. Counties Monaco rolling forward here. Here's Crystal Stowers. Too slow, 15. That's good play from Counties Monaco. A nice roll on there. Well, they do that so effectively. Oh. Wait, please. Wharton takes the ball up. And again, they should be pushing up with players ready. like Wharton. Wait, guys, wait. So it's when you're ready. Butler, Smalley. Well, it's great to see Wharton still playing. She's 37. One, move on. Came out of retirement hey, to play for the Warriors last year. And she might get a test match. Here's Mary Jane Finau. Goes forward here for Two. Counties Monaco. Three minutes out from half time. This could be try number five for them. Good goal line defense there from mid central. Paiko. Matua. Butler's back out there. Hat trick for Hara to Butler. How did she get back out there? Having a field day. The goalposts are a magnet to her at the moment. All three tries that she scored right by the posts. Hat trick in the first half for Harata Butler. Three tries, 32 minutes. Their defence was pretty stoic in that, that middle. But just on the edge here, they find Butler, who is such a damaging runner. They tried to take her low and one, one above, but unfortunately, way too low. Just easy, isn't it? She makes it look easy. Three tries. Yeah, and she's had a spell on the bench too. Here's Butler. So, very good try for her once again. I can hear you now. As we approach half time, really 26 light, to nil. Can you hear me? It's all about you taking your me? opportunities. Mid Central had a couple. Oh, Paris Paul got <laughs> close, but not close enough. And that's what the good sides can do. They take their opportunities as Matua goals for the fourth time in this game, 28 to nil. Yeah. When I'm running, I can't hear you guys that well. I can hear you behind the post, so. Will be time for the kickoff. Just joining us, hope you're enjoying the coverage. One minute from half time, 35 minute halves in women's rugby league, and hope you can stay with us at four o'clock this afternoon. We have the time men's clash between Counties Monaco and Waikato. One now, they're up. Come back, come back. Where you go? Oh, now. 
Butler, plenty of room for her as she charges up to the halfway line. Still going and offloads. No, it's stolen by Paul. Paris Paul. Matua, not for the first time in this game. Puts a good shot on an opponent. You guys are off. Now, there is a penalty. It's coming out was Liotta for mid-central Maggie Liotta. Mark's up here, yep. So, mid-central. Might be out of time to play this as you tick over the 35-minute mark. Wait for the tap. Play on. The order will have time. It's Finau. Finau, look who's making the tackle. Tackle, it's Butler. The star of the first half. Ricky Rawley. Goes close. One, up now. Get square. Paris Paul. Oh, it's been touched by that county's player. Played at. And Paris Paul is going to go and score a try. One of Mid Central's best players last week. And once again, the young hooker. Yeah, puts her name up in lights with another good try. And Mid Central are on the board. Well, she tried a number of occasions from dummy half to score early on in the first half. She gets rewarded for that effort with this try here. They, they peppered it a little here, dropped back, but look who's there. Paris Paul coming through, accelerating through, and scores the very first try for the Vikings. Yeah, Paris Paul, she's been excellent for mid-central. After starting from the interchange against Akarana in round one, hooker last week, two tries last week in that win over Canterbury, and she is just getting better and better. Get used to the cameras, Paris. That's what happens when you play well. Here comes Wendell with the conversion attempt. Wendell's conversion attempt is excellent from the 20 meter mark and that's good reward for mid central who get on the board with an excellent try narrow the gap 28 to 6 it is to the defending champs at half time are here with Sunday afternoon test match footy how good is that now Moana's got taste what a try wow 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 the rampant All Blacks are back the Bledisloe Cup All Blacks Wallabies today Sky Sport 1 coverage brought to you by the all new Ford Escape hi Steve, thanks. Good choice. That'd be $52.99, thanks. Thanks. Repco. It starts with the parts. This is a nighttime aligner from Smile Direct Club. Go from a smile like this to a smile like this while you sleep. For up to 60% less than braces, nighttime aligners. Get started for free at smiledirectclub.co.nz. Funny how it's your daughter's birthday, yet you're the one that's aging. Huh, here's the boss now. <laughs> uh, maybe one kid is enough. Nutriboost, the five star milk drink for one star moments. The Bathurst 1000 broke our heart. Which is why we're selling off everything that reminds us of them. Like these Castrol Magnetic Engine Oils, half price. And we'll always be watching with this UP home security camera system for 79. <laughs> Did you know that the Weber Q is much, much more than just New Zealand's favourite barbecue? It's a Saturday afternoon pizza maker with the kids. Perfect roast dinners when the whole family is home. It's an easy lunch down at the park with mates. It's also mum's favourite cinnamon scrolls. And it'll be restaurant quality steaks any night of the week. Weber Q. More than a barbecue. Available in stores and online. 
Let's get one thing straight. I never tell you to drink Sprite. Even if I was in a commercial for Sprite, which I am, I wouldn't tell you to drink it, no matter what that cute car says. Bro, man, say it. No. Even if you just eating tacos with extra hot sauce, and you were holding an extra cold Sprite, and for some reason, you're waiting for me to tell you to drink it, I still wouldn't tell you to drink that thirst-quenching Sprite. I'd ask you, you want a Sprite? Returns October 25th, live on Sky Sport. Yeah, County's Monaco, the defending champions. Here's the first try in the first half against Mid Central. Harata Butler goes over. Simple crash play. And Butler had County's Monaco 6 to 0. And Richie Barnett, who is pretty much. Haven't we been here before? with try number two, deja vu. Yep, it certainly was, and all the mistakes early on with about six errors from both teams, the completion of about the third minute. But again, they peppered this right-hand edge on a number of occasions. The execution was poor, but that instant, they just used the speed of Biddle there. Score their first try. Yes, and there's a Biddle playing in the centres today. Nicely timed pass from Tolanga to provide the centre of the try, and then Tolanga got on the score sheet herself with try number four, Richie. Yeah, she was just so hard to tackle. And again, they're peppering around that ruck, changing angles, getting the, the runners. Look at this, just straight on, the timing of the run. And again, Tolanga scores. And here we go, wide. And again, we've got Carney, who's just used the pace on the edge, really to have that indecision on that left edge. And then it was Butler again getting the fifth try. She'd had a spell on the bench by now and came back on with her first touch pretty much to score her hat trick. And in mid central, we were rewarded. Bit of an individual effort here from Paris Paul. Paris, just a lot of energy and enthusiasm. She showed a ton of pace there to get through. She tried to get tries early on for dummy half, but she was rewarded that time. And that one was converted by Wendell. So 28 points to six. Glorious day here in Hamilton. Hope you're enjoying it, and we'll be back for the second half here on Sky Sport in just a moment. This is the place where Aussie rules. This kick is big in every way, and this is very much game on. The AFL, live on Sky Sport. No voucher, no fly. Know someone overseas who's thinking about travelling to New Zealand during COVID-19? They must pre-book their isolation voucher before they buy their flights. Tell friends and family overseas to visit allocation.miq.govt.nz now to book theirs. It's Melbourne Cup season. Join the TAB, deposit any amount up to 100 bucks and we'll match it in bonus bets. Use promo code SPRING and get your first deposit bonus with TAB. Now you're in the game. My legs are like tree trunks, and when tree trunks walk together, they chafe. But step one has got you covered. We put these ultra glide panels between the legs. It glides when you walk. Step one is made from bamboo. Bamboo wicks away your sweat, which lets you breathe. We've got free shipping, thousands of five-star reviews, and a first pair guarantee. Love them, or they're free. So if you want underwear that won't ride up, won't trap sweat, and won't chafe, you can buy them online at stepone.life. Step one, get some. Bold choice. Yeah. Bold taste. Venta. Bold choice, bold taste. 
the Bathurst 1000 broke our heart. Which is why we're selling off everything that reminds us of them. Like K&N Performance Air Filters, 30% off, and Export Aerosol Paint 3 for $11.99. All the memories. Excuse me, where am I? You're lost in the procrastination place. Yeah, right, that makes sense. Slap yourself out of it. Make it happen! The cat and mouse game has commenced. The Love Vuelta leader's jersey is like a red rag to these bulls. Unbelievable. Who will conquer Spain's grand tour? in the riding of the bulls. Defies the odds. What a finish. This is something extraordinary. La Vuelta starts Wednesday, live Sky Sport 3. The road to eternal glory begins now the UEFA Champions League is back match day one begins Wednesday live Sky Sport yes the Sky Sport National Women's Premiership here at Waikato Stadium beautiful sunny day glorious conditions no wind it's nice and pleasant temperature-wise as well. And it's Counties Monaco, the 10-time defending champions, leading mid-central, the team from Hawke's Bay, Manawatu, 2 Taranaki, though they have no Taranaki players in their lineup today. And uh, they're leading 28 points to six. Five tries to one in the first half. So looking forward to the second half of this. And don't forget, at 4 o'clock this afternoon, we've got the men's game coming up today between Counties Monaco and Waikato, the home team. So this team here is a, a champion team, Richie Barnett. Ten national titles in a row. That doesn't happen in New Zealand sport, in any sport, that often. And uh, Counties Monaco, the way they're going, it's going to take something special from Mid-Central to come back and win this game here. And Akarana in a couple of weeks, and these, those two teams meet in the final. Yep, that has been, what, over the last four or five <laughs> years, or many actually, ten years seen counties monaco being so strong they've just formed a base of players that have got huge belief and skill set but there's one player who can turn it around and that's that paris paul we saw scoring that last try a couple of minutes to go yep she's been excellent right, stay behind. well deserved try she's been playing very well from dummy half and i like how she attacks the line as well backs herself to make it no matter who the opposition is, and speaking of opposition, this is Butler once again. McCafferty chases her down. Butler from the kickoff. Crystal Rorta is out there now. At dummy half, and here's Wharton into the 20. Rorta continues to plug away to the left. Stowers to the line, and this is Gaddy's Monaco at their best. And there is a try. Right from the kickoff. Pretty impressive performance from Counties Monaco as the big forwards rolled through. Well, it was Butler, wasn't it? Again, straight off the, the kick. A damaging runner straight through. A lovely tackle, too, from a Cathedry. Fina scores the try. But the power game, as we've seen at Crystal, Crystal Rolter just sensed that the left edge was more prominent for them to attack they were shorter numbers crystal's vision is outstanding so mary jane finau scores the try now from manu rewa and it is all of a sudden back to a decent margin again 32 32 points to six makes 34 to six and the conversion 
has gone over. Change of goal kicker as well. There is Matu, you can see, sitting on the bench there. Butler again, look, she's just had a, an outstanding performance today. Three tries in the first half. And a, an outstanding run off the kick. And if I was kicking the ball, I don't think I'll be kicking to her again. Nothing early. <laughs> Wyndham. And look who's got the ball. <laughs> it's Butler creating havoc again. Masters receiving the kickoff. She was the player who converted that last try. Platinum Masters, a young player, gets another chance today. Two, release! And this is where Crystal will bring the Come players on. on the ball here from dummy half. You just see now they're working around that A, a and B defender nicely. A three up now! Creating a bit of ruck speed and then look for those options on their left edge. And they are starting to heat up, aren't they? Putting the squeeze on their opponents. And here comes County's Marago again through Lamanu. She's featured strongly at centre. Water into dummy half. Off she goes, Crystal Water. And Bacani. Off guys. Offside play against mid central. When you're ready. And this is Finau, the try scorer. One. Up now. He goes close again. Rota. Stowers. Two. Release. Good square. Two defenders goes Crystal Stowers. Rota. Now Butler. Fourth try for Harder to Butler. <laughs> 16 points on her own for Hara to Butler. Someone's going to accuse her of being greedy shortly, Richie Barnett. No, Crystal again. She's taking the right options, working over that, around that ruck area, but she just knew straight away the pass was, well, in the hands of one very influential player in Hara to Butler. Fourth try today. What a performance. And we've only had what? four minutes of the second half two tries and crystal water has been out there for the second half and you can just instantly see yeah, that switch has been flicked and it's not so much the the execution which is still as good as it was in the first half richie but everything just seems to have moved up a gear this the pace of play that county's monaco has displayed has just gone right up <laughs> Absolutely, when you've got an experienced player that comes on, but she she brings the players on the ball um, extremely well, and that creates the ruck speed, and that is basically most of the game. So 40 to 8, Platinum Masters again converts the try and water. Some people just have a big effect on their teammates just by their mere presence on the field, and water seems to be one of those players based on what we've seen in the last five minutes. Time you run! Good to see Masters back out there for Counties Monaco. She played in the first game against Canterbury. Didn't play last play week on. against Akarana. And getting half a game here, it seems. So Tari dropped the ball there. Knock on. You've so lost it. That will be a scrum to mid-central. Well, I'll be interested to see if they can just score a try early on, build the confidence up. They've certainly got the attack to do that. And most of it will come around Paris Paul to ignite the attack. Lock. Stay down, County's lock. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Get, get your lock in. Lock yeah, in. This is an lock area in. where I think they okay. like to innovate Out. from the scrum feed and look for options on the edge. Now and straight away into a work. Move! Square. Wait. It's Akua, uh, Nimorota it was in fact. It's a good run from here. Here's Mackenzie Mackay. Two! Up now! Good surge from Dummy Hart from the new okay. centre. Ball again. Here's Rawley. Three! Rawley. The central look keen and hungry here. Paris Paul plugs away on the right window. Here's a chance. The line is not oh, far away. Four. Up now! Akua, the back rower goes close. Paul 
Finau. Samoa and Ruby Finau, five metres out. This has got to be a window opportunity here, close to the line. Four. Rawley, good hands. Nicely taken there from Akawala. Here's a chance. Offloads and Hunt is over to score the try. Excellent play by Mid Central. That second try for them. And no doubt they celebrate. Naomi Hunt goes over. And a wonderful try for Mid Central. This is a lovely play. Look at the tip on there. She did so well to hold that ball in an offload. Akawala coming through, or Minerota comes through and pops the ball. The second phase, extraordinary, and that pass out wide. She did so well to get the ball down. And as we see, Amber Carney coming across, trying to tidy up. Well, that's a real confidence booster there. Well, look, uh, let's, let's, let's just tick this box here, Richie, with Mid Central's execution and their endeavour. Canterbury couldn't score a point against this county's Monaco team in round one. Akarana struggled to score points despite having a very good team against um, Mid uh, County's Monaco last week. They only managed to score two tries in that game and now Mid Central uh, won't have the strength to go over but Windle had the accuracy in terms of the just didn't have the distance there uh, so the score remains 40 to 10. So Mid Central here who are pretty exciting side rugby league rookies basically have managed to score two tries against the 10 time defending championships pretty decent effort. possession really is critical for the side and I really do I like the fact that Windle is right up there in terms of a ball player and a runner of the ball she can, can create and you got Paris Paul at nine so there's a lot of creativity in that side Stay behind. <laughs> Hemingway fields the ball from the kickoff. One up now. The square. You short in the ten. This is Maggie Yota at dummy half. Good charge into the line. Chief Butler. Two. <laughs> no. Butler doing it all. On and off the ball here. Feet out. Here's Rawley. Three, stand. Pretty decent effort from Ricky Rawley. Four, be now. Nice move from Mackay. That's four, up together. Off me, guys. Be now. Wider of the ruck this time is Liotta. Five and lost. Last play now for Mid Central. Paul gives it to Wendell. There's the cross field kick for a two or three players to chase it. And the creative pressure and spilled it. McCafferty's picked it up. It's a fresh set for Mid Central. Fast play the ball. And Kelty's Monaco stretched down that right. Rawley changes direction. Mid Central's error rate has dramatically dropped. Hope I haven't put the hex on them just then. Two, move now, 13. Right. With me, guys. No. Paul again. Now Finau, who's becoming more involved. Mackay, good spot tackle coming in there, but she was offside. Was Biddle. And she was looking to Mackay. She was looking ready. for that pass. Being offside, really. Allowed her that fraction of a second. A little bit of certain try. Gotti Ogden it is. Who's out there now. Off the interchange. Hemingway is going to drive over. Good defence on her. No crowding. Paul has dived over and scored a try, I reckon. Right. He is happy, the referee. <laughs> Craig Mckello has yeah, awarded the try, and side. Paris side. Paul gets her second try of the afternoon. Well, you can see that a mile away, <laughs> that Paris Paul is going to go for that. Oh, it's incredible. She was so close to to get through Hemmings way. Good defence there for on, online defence from the Stingrays. And look at this. <laughs> he just knew she was going to go. Carney there as well. The markers. Look at that. Unfortunately, you can see there. It's number six. 
Masters. The positional wasn't quite right. Well, Paris Paul gets her second try. She got a double last week against Canterbury as well. And four tries in the last two games is now Windle. Tries to convert the try. She won't do so. So 40 points to 14. You know, Paris Paul's an interesting player here, Richie. Crystal Water obviously has her eye on another test jumper coming up in a few weeks, and rightly so. She has got all the class that we expect a dummy half to have, and her form has been excellent this season as well. And her leadership is just unquestioned as well. But what do you do with someone like Paris Paul, a new young player coming through? You think the selectors are... You're seeing enough talent from Paris Paul in this game to suggest that she might be worth at least oh, having in the squad? Absolutely, absolutely. If you're looking for the future, you'd certainly have a player, a youngster coming through and just get an idea of what that looks like. And, Stay behind. And, you know, learning off the, one of the best in the game too in the position that she plays. Play on. Got a long, long way. Well, of course, you have to base it and judge all the, up now. the hookers around the, the country, Play. not only the four teams in the Sky Sport National Women's Premiership, but, of course, in the championship as well. There are some good players playing Two, in that stand. second Give division. Who the selectors will be keeping an eye on as well, but Paul's not doing much wrong in the last few games. Finau, unfortunately, just a little bit of miscommunication there with Sequita Hemingway. Finau's been good too. She's tried to create. Finau and Hemingway just having a good chuckle about getting in each other's road there. So they're fairly new at it too. So okay, folding, just guys. trying to find the combinations and in, stay down, wait the, for the line uncle. running in rugby Hello. league, quite different. <laughs> okay, when you're ready. Out! Well, it's two tries apiece in the second half so far. Now County's trying to cook something up here. Right. Whoops. Backwards. All looked a little Backwards. clunky, didn't it? Pahu Kani forced to go back. That's where Chased there. by Windle. Windle coming nicely into this game too as Water. That's a good play, isn't it? Nice angled run. Two. Move. And there is the penalty this long. time. Just hard to defend that inside ball. Where to Kohu? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, where to Kohu was a great run. All right, guys, you got to wait for me to get in a position. And Wharton. It's all right. County's forced to go back here. When you're having ready. Had their pride hurt a little bit here, the county's Monaco Stingrays, having conceded three tries in the game One, so move. far. Why, There's Paul why? making a good tackle go. that time on Stowers. Water slides off to the left. Oh, boy. That's weak defence. Untouched pretty much. Was Witakor who has gone over and scored the try. Kararaina Witakor who with a, a try today and uh, it is County's Monaco 44 to 14. And again Crystal dominating that middle third with a variation in play with an inside ball. We've seen that in the first half a number of occasions to bring the player on the ball, change the angle, speed, footwork. And with a call who scores Hooch first try. Pretty dominant performance but uh, they need to score. As you see there, that Vipers scoring back-to-back -back tries. And this is what all the teams in the Premiership have struggled to handle. Counties Monaco have a good half a dozen of these damaging middle forwards. Richie and uh, Udakor, who's playing on the edge in this game, in the second row. She played prop the last two weeks, and it's just relentless. These big damaging runners that Counties Monaco have. I mean, the message now, you can see she just misses that, but the message must be out that those inside players have to move up. I mean, we've seen it so often in this game to utilise that inside ball runner. But equally defensively, you've seen that that's the template to how they play. The inside defenders must come up. Anticipate. Well, seven tries to three. Goal kicking, uh, goal kicking rather by Matua. Four from five from her in the first half, and she hasn't 
featured in the second half. She only played it clearly though. The plan from Greg Selwyn, the coach of the County's Monaco Stingrays, was to give Matu a half a game, give Masters half a game. Stay behind, guys. Nothing early. <laughs> Don't forget we've got the final in two weeks. 31st of October. Oh, the bounce is kind here for Mid Central. Paris is, Paris Paul has hold picked hold it hold up. Hold Good hands from Rawley. One stand. Final stay on October 31st. Waitakere. It's going to be a battle between Counties Monaco and Akarana in both the men's and the women's finals. Two. Get square. Don't forget at four o'clock this afternoon we've got the men's clash between Counties Monaco and Waikato. Heaven Spooner back out there now for Three. Mid Central. This is her third appearance this season. All from the interchange for Mid Central. Finau, first receiver. Hemingway cuts back. Button with a good tackle. Same with Stowers. Ball away to the right. Windle. Done pretty well in that. Running that right hand attack. Right side attack for. Mid central, Fino with the kick. Beautifully taken by McCafferty. Oh, it's been left behind, and away goes Counties Monaco. This is Biddle. Biddle got support as well. Play on, play on. Good 40 meter run by Anissa Biddle. Here's Pahukani. Two. Solid connection there on Nakola. Good Wait. tackle by okay. Naomi Hunt as well. Rota keeps it on the left. Totari. Good hands there Surrender from tackle. Lamanu. Three. Here we are, guys. Rota. Nice angled run again from Witakohu. As well to stay in the field of play there. Threatened to drift over the sideline. Totari. Here's Stowers. Nicely in the middle of the field. Wharton will just oh. happily take the tackle. Last. last tackle now for Counties Monaco. And Rota, go, look at go. the speed from dummy half. The acceleration. No support, though. In fact, they come to where Rota was. Totari. Cross field kick. Not a great end of the set, but it still might work out for right. Counties Monaco. It hasn't. Wait. Go. And it's going to be mid-central with the ball. Counties Monaco set high standards. They won't be happy with the way they ended that set. No, absolutely not. I don't think they'll be happy with the start of the game. And they certainly wouldn't be happy with the end of their set. The fifth kick options have been pretty poor as well. Cola, good, hard, carry, tough carry coming in there from Nimarota. It's not the first time in the game she's done that. Finau. Ball is called good. Will Leota stay in the field of play? She won't. Maggie Leota will be disappointed with that one. Yeah, just testing that sideline. Too long out. Did a good job there to come across and drag her out. Maggie Leota from Manawatu. Three games from the interchange for her this season. Remember, this is okay. Central's last game. Well, oh, they've scored three tries against Counties Monaco. Stay Had a win last week. Alcohol. Not bad, really. When you're ready, six. For a team, Richie, that oh. had only had two training sessions before the first game of the season. Oh, this is Butler. No way. This is try number five. No, it isn't. Well, that's selfless play there from Hara to Butler. And going in for her second try is Tolanga. We were, Richie, accusing Hara to Butler of being greedy. There's some pretty decent evidence to suggest she isn't. Yeah, it's come from a bit of an error, been thrown out of the sideline. And then Butler straight onto the ball, ignites the and from dumb, look from the scrum feed too. She's playing all the positions, and selflessly she passes the ball to Tolunga. Look at that, just sheer power. There's no question that Butler could have got there herself. Unless she ankle tapped herself. Or got tackled by an invisible player. 
But Tolunga gets a double. The butler could probably go up to Tolunga after and say, you owe me now. Here's Masters. One from three so far. In fact, two from three. Masters has got that one nicely. Very good goal there from Platinum Masters. And the score goes out to 50 to 14. Bit of a reset there for Stingrays. Refocus. Eight tries now, County's Manukau have scored. Four have been scored by Butler. And uh, she could have easily scored five of them. Tolunga has a double as well, so eight of the tries have been scored by just two players. The other try scorers have been <coughs> Biddle and Finau. Uh, County's Monaco, who cracked 50. With just over, in fact, exactly 12 minutes to play. Play on. One. With me, guys. With me. Wharton. Good surge. Two nice up direct. now. Get square. Where you go? Where you go? Stow is used as a decoy runner. This is Smalley back into the game now. Three! Up together! King's player herself. Wait, wait. wait. Warriors player in 2018 and 2019. That's four! Play the ball. Stowers plays it. Rorta. Wharton, that's good play. And Totati, clever kick. It's going to roll into touch. John Sal Totati, a Māori All-Stars player. And... 2019 and 2020. Yeah, nice little play there. Left foot kick over the top. Crystal Rota utilising that middle third nicely, drawing the players in. Just clever. Just watch one of those plays yeah, where she it, just dragged the, okay. one of the markers right across an inside ball. Open oh. up. Well, mid central haven't had much ball lately. Paris Paul oh, runs away from the one. scrum again. Up now! Almost created some second phase right. play there again. Go. Finau. Two! Good defence Release. on her. We haven't actually seen Finau create too much habit with her running today, which uh, she's been very effective prior to this match. Three, stay Kevin together. Spooner. Another Hawks Bay player. In possession. Play on. Well done, Paris Paul. Could easily been a knock on. Four, Aurora Akola. Wait, wait, wait. The player. Okay. With ten minutes to go. Ricky Rawley. Yes. Tough player, Ricky yes, Rawley. Play More experienced league players in this mid central team as Tolunga takes it nice and confidently Check for Counties Monaco. That was a good take. Guys, Wasn't an end to end kick. Started to wobble there a little bit. She took it with confidence. Here's Anessa Biddle. Two. Not release. shy and getting stuck in, is she, Biddle? Good physical presence. Oh, the old shimmy. Here comes Amber Carney. Mousetrap play, isn't it? Here comes Masters. In fact, that's Crystal Rota. Masters just there. Oh, she's had it stolen. Excellent play by Mackay. Here we are. Right. Well done by Mackenzie Mackay. Window almost had her. Two, move now. Oh, body cut in half by Amber Carney. Right. Yes, they need to show some variation here. Maybe it's second phase we spoke about before. Just been a little bit predictable oh. as we. Yes. Nice offload by McCafferty, one of the smallest players on the field. Yeah, she's been really good today. Yeah, good move to move her back to fullback. She played half a game at fullback last year, Three, uh, last, year last week. McCafferty. Right, guys. And go. Paul. Here's Finau. Hemingway. Four. Hands off. Get square. Tangled up. 
Tangled up. Good refereeing there. Poor. Now to Wendell. They came up very fast, Counties Monaco. The service wasn't oh, the great that time. Up now. Now it's the last play. Wendell. Take a marker off. Poor. Which means someone else is going to have to step up for the kick. It's going to be Saloy Ruby Finau. And this time, Pahukani fields the ball. And it's a good run from well, Pahukani. Up together. Now, Amber Carney slots Five. into dummy half. Hardly seen Amber Carney with, his, with her hands on the ball in this game. Two, relief, get square. Rota. Now, Smalley crashes into Rawley, her opposite number. Oh, three. Hemingway relief. did well did well there to hold up. The hard charging Smalley. It's a nice play, nice shift, and this is going to be an easy run in here for... Kararaina Wirakohu, her second try. Third player to score multiple tries for Counties Monaco today, 54 to 14. Yeah, there's a bit of a space on that, that right edge. And again, they just shift or drag the defender across. You can just see here, late cut from Wirakohu. <laughs> And she shows a ton of pace too. You can just see, look, drag the defender and inside ball. Late footwork. Too easy. Good to call who another Māori All-Stars player. 2019, she didn't play in this year's game. But of course, the Māori All-Stars won that game. She played in last year, six points to four. Tough battle that day. Just shows you. Also, the, the ability for the fullback to come around and defend, you know, staying inside the ball. and It's probably something new, particularly when you played six and you, you shoot, shoot back the fullback, McCafferty. Masters with a simple conversion attempt. That's four from five for her in the second half. Fifty-six to fourteen. 28 to 6 it was at half time. Greg Sell will be happy to rotate his players. So 56 to 14, Wendell it is to kick off. Oh, I like these short kick off, kicks off. Kick off yeah. so. Stay Got behind. Five minutes. Quite nicely. Five minutes to do something here. And they go long for you, Richie. <laughs> Amber Carney. That's one. Good chase, good tackle. Coming in that time from mid central Nimaroto. He's been actually been good in that centre position today. Two, four, mid central. Finau to play it. Rota. Here comes Wharton. Three, up now. Stowers. That's four. Release, four. Rota. Rota's away. She looks for the offload, Crystal Rota. Oh, Get it to Abakani, who's yeah, sniping around. Stowers to the left. Totari. Good option. Kick and chase. McCafferty hoping it will roll out, but it doesn't. McCafferty will have to settle for a line dropout. Pretty decent kick, isn't it? Left drop foot. Out, yeah. She's operating that left channel nicely. Drop out, guys. And it's great that she waits to the last minute too, goes to the line, shapes the pass, drops the ball on the foot. Beautiful kick. Look here. Look, she's running the line, looking like she's going to pass, but late. On the piece, perfect. McCafferty was just there positionally well too on that right edge. When you're ready. First line drop out of the game comes four minutes from full time. Totati fields it. And now Mary Jane Finau to bring it back. One, move now. Wait. Finau to play it. Five metres out. Rota. Here comes Stowers to Carney. Amber Carney. Two. Lost ball. 
And then it's been lost by Carney. Disappointed. Yep, strong, guys. Quite day, Amber Carney. Sure, she will feature strongly in the final. I think it's Counties Monaco. Lock Hit down, lock it. Play in the final and go for the 11th title in a row. Play on. To do it, they'll need to beat Akarana. That one coming up on October well, 31st. Stand. Men's clash will be Akarana versus Counties Monaco as well. It's and there's long. a penalty. Counties Monaco will confirm their place in the final when they play Waikato today. One kicking off four o'clock. Championship table, point standings. Oh, if Waikato win that game, Pantis Manukau will still be in the final, but Akarana will top the table. Up now. Well, the Central a little bit fortunate to come back with the ball here as Wendell gives it to Hemingway, and Carney's in there. Doesn't have many opportunities with the ball, but she's getting stuck and off the ball at the moment. Paul to Paulson. Two, move! Wait, wait. Finau, now to Rawley. Had a good second half, Ricky Rawley. She's combined nicely with Finau. Up together. Finau again. Mackay. A surrender tackle, four! Paul right. caught in possession oh, that time. That one was a breakdown in communication. Good tackle from Masters. Last play now for Mid Central is Wendell. Oh, Whoops, she right. skewed that one off the side of the foot. Play That's not to plan. Well, they kept the ball alive nicely here. Nimarota, still the last tackle. Hunt. That will be handover. a handover. Two markers. So last minute of the game. Two markers, two markers. Right. When you're ready. Okay. Totari. Oh, here's a good burst upfield. Excellent run that time. And I wondered whether the offload might come in there. One, stand. Fino was with a right, sp right. splendid run. In fact, it was Lamanu. Here's Carney. Amber Carney taken high. Referee's happy with that tackle as we enter the last 20 seconds. The county's wanting to finish with their 10th try if they can. Up now. They've got 10 seconds left. Rota. Kick and chase from Crystal Rota. Masters chasing through. They are going to get their try. Their 10th of the game, Platinum Masters is over the young half and uh, excellent way to finish for the defending champions. They bring up 60 for the second time in this competition this season. Platinum Masters gets the last try and she's had a very good second half. She's kicked four goals as well. And now she has a chance to kick a fifth. Excellent play. Well weighted kick from Rota. Good chase from Masters. Fair enough. Thank you. Still got the kick to go. So <laughs> just the kick to finish the deal. And mid-central, even though they've been soundly beaten on the scoreboard, did finish this year's competition with one win. And that was against Canterbury last week. And uh, there are some interesting players in their side. That New Zealand Rugby League, we hope, will harness over the future years. The women's game is just going to be becoming stronger and stronger, as we know, particularly in Australia. So New Zealand are going to have to continue to produce talent to be competitive long-term against the Gillaroos and all the NRL W teams as Masters nails that conversion as well. Great goal kicking performance from her too. Five from six. Really good effort. And that gets the job done for Counties Monaco. And they have sealed 
very comfortable win, 62 to 14. Four of those tries, four of the 10 tries go to Butler. <laughs> Great team spirit too, me and Mary Jane, Jane Fina getting one try. The Masters getting the last word, who got a double and Tolunga as well. And uh, Diddle was the other try scorer in the first half. But they're a very powerful lineup. They've got a lot of depth to to Counties Monaco. Competition for places. And their team is really a strength of them as well. do it with this final match of the round robin I'm going to go down and get some after match reaction now and let's go to Richie it's a, a really slow start but you found your feet in the in the second half yeah um I guess it was that that first 20 minutes is always the grind down um that's that battle at the start and then once we got over that um i, uh, I guess i started finding my feet and um, my team came following on that note four tries you could have got five but you passed it what a what a stellar performance how did you feel out there oh i felt good um personally this is this is a home game for me and a couple of other girls we travel um, from hamilton up to auckland weekly um so i guess being back home and playing on home soil kind of gave me that extra um advantage um but on that last pass my coach did say um i'm really proud of you for giving that pass and um i guess today was about our babies our, um, our next generation coming through um and it's just about sharing that game time so yeah um big ups to our edges yeah especially yeah well, and then you've got, uh, I'm sure that the 11th Premiership or title looms in the background. You, you're up against Akana next week. How do you, what do you think about that? Um, to be honest, we, um, no matter how many um, pre Premierships, um, 10 in a row, we're going for our 11th, but um, we never take it lightly. Um, it's always a different battle and it depends who turns up on the day. So um, we're looking forward to, forward to it um, and our girls are pumped. Um, and just to go into the final from this is awesome. Awesome. Well, great performance from today and good luck for next week. Choice.